Hey everybody, how's it going? I don't normally do unboxing videos or reviews of tools or anything like that, but I'm just really excited to open this package I just got and figured I'd uh, share that experience with you guys. I've become really, really fond of Japanese tools and I really have a kind of an addiction to cool tools. I really love uh, awesome tools and the fact that they're handmade by masters is just really appealing to me. I just feel like I'm doing really good work and it inspires me to do better work when I'm using really cool tools and ones that are high quality and made by people. So anyway, let's open this thing up. Like I said, it's from Japan. <clears throat> we'll take a look together. Look at that. Wrapped beautifully. That's really cool. It's like Christmas. Here we have it, a Japanese marking gauge, tool number one. Wow, that is beautiful. Has an ebony inlay right here. Has a wear plate. has two blades that you can lay out your mortises or grooves and you can kind of lock it down right here but then change the level of it and these are really really nice blades that will cut a knife wall rather than scratch a groove into it so i'm really excited about using this that is beautiful man that is a sweet sweet tool All right, the other tool is part of a tool that I have to finish. So this, wow, that is really dang nice. This is a Japanese hammer. It's meant for hitting your chisels with. And it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful wow oh man well i just can't help myself i'm gonna make a handle i've been saving this piece of curly teak for a while i think this will make a really nice beautiful handle to really do this mallet justice the grain here is nice and straight that's where we're going to make our handle from i'm not sure if teak's going to be an ideal handle material or not, typically use something like hickory or ash. I think this mallet is actually, it's either ash or oak. Oak's typically not used too often, but this isn't like a typical hammer, like a framing hammer or a hatchet. Um, it's really, you don't abuse the chisels that you're hitting. You use these types of mallets to hit your chisels and so you're really not pounding away on them. So. We'll give her a shot. And I'm going to use the new marking gauge to lay out my cuts here. Go ahead and make it that wide. We're going to cut it that long. This marking gauge is amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's cut this out.
Well, everyone, there you go. I think this mallet turned out absolutely beautiful. I really think that curly T candle really complements that hand peened, handmade hammer and does it justice. I can't wait to use this hammer on my next project where I have to chop a bunch of mortises and dovetails with those Japanese chisels. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't already and you like this video, please consider subscribing and hit that bell icon. That way you get notified anytime I put out new videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.